Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing the Omega Speedmaster Racing. 44.25 millimeters in stainless steel. It's a full-size watch, part of the coaxial chronometer Speedmaster Racing family launched in 2017. Now you can see the classic racing dial on the larger case, 44 and a quarter, and slightly thicker than a traditional moon watch would be. As this watch is 15.4 millimeters in thickness, lug to lug reasonably constrained. However, under 50 millimeters across the wrist, this watch measures 49.8 millimeters, and I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference. The timepiece is 21 millimeters between the lugs if you want to throw it on a strap, and the factory bracelet is. Substantial. Omega bracelets have come along quite a bit since the 1990s when I first laid eyes on the old Speedmaster Moonwatch and Seamaster James Bond. Those were the twin pillars back then. You have far more options today, but all of them feature bracelets that now rival Rolex. You can see the cross-section of the links is rather oval in profile. It's sort of a hybrid between a sports bracelet and a dress bracelet. And you can see all of the removable links are fixed by screws, and you've got quite a few half links. So if you want to make some sizing adjustments using those half links, you've got flexibility to do that. You have a milled-out clasp that is very solid, twin-trigger release, milled swing arm, single fold, and then you have 9.6 millimeters of additional adjustment courtesy of a push-button slider mechanism inside of the clasp. So this one is fully equipped, and everything feels solid and confidence inspiring in the hand. The reason I call this watch a little bit of a hybrid of dress and sports is that you have sort of a three link design but then you have those intermediates in polish and the oval cross section. This watch can wear well with a suit or a bathing suit. You'll also note that you've got the sheer guards on the crown side. Speedmasters have featured this asymmetrical shear guard profile since about 1965 and its induction into NASA service. This is the legacy of the moon watch on our coaxial chronometer. You have the same lyre style lugs that have graced generations of Speed and Seamasters. Uh, the expanding polished bevel, the satin finished case band that runs longitudinally, and then the lyre style inward turn of the lugs. The tachymeter has been upgraded on this model as this is a premium piece. You have a ceramic tachymeter rather than the anodized aluminum of the original moon watch and then inboard of that highly scratch resistant ceramic you have a domed crystal that's designed to give you some of the distortion and the bubble like character of a plexiglass or a hesolite as you'd see on the moon watch but with the scratch resistance of sapphire you can see all applique indices and then you have dished metallic registers for the constant seconds as well as the chronograph hours and minutes so you get a vintage style twin register dial but you get hours and minutes on a single register and that's how Omega keeps the dial unadorned and cleaned while still giving you a modern hour, minute, seconds display. There is a date down at six o'clock. You've got orange accents, and then you have the staggered hash mark around the circumference of the dial. You can see it's on a little bit of a downward plane, and that hash pattern, designed to make it easier to read fractions of a second, we'll get a little bit closer here, is the reason the watch has been dubbed Racing Dial. Over various generations, the Racing Dial has appeared on many different types of Speedmaster, but that basic staggered hash mark has always been its hallmark. Now, the dial covers an Omega coaxial chronometer, or I should say master chronometer, caliber 99. Zero, zero. You have a time zone function that allows you to change the hour even as the chronograph runs and the remainder of the indications, for example, minutes and seconds are unchanged. The watch is not in stop seconds mode here, and I can actually travel across the international date line in either direction, jumping the date. Now, if I do want to set the watch precisely, I can pull the crown out all the way, stop seconds. Now I've activated hacking. Turn it all over, open the clasp, and under the case back, you can see that caliber 9900. Twin mainspring barrels, 60 hour power reserve. The twin barrels ensure that you won't see big amplitude drop off after 24 hours. That's the advantage of twin barrels. The watch keeps much better time from full wind to minimum wind. This 54 joule automatic with its 60 hour power reserve beating away at 25,200 vibrations per hour. Refinements, many. Full balance bridge and a free sprung index for shock resistance. Silicon SI14 hairspring for anti-magnetism. Really, it's an amagnetic watch. This watch can hold up to an MRI over
over 1.5 Tesla or greater than 15,000 Gauss. Coaxial escapement, you better believe it, and it's a Matas chronometer, which means not only is it tested in five positions like the COSC, it's tested in six. It's not tested as a bare movement, it's tested as a full watch, and the test includes winding efficiency, power reserve, anti-magnetism, and water resistance, not just chronometry. The watch still meets the COSC standards, it also exceeds them. You can see underneath its skeletonized bridge, there is a column wheel. It is a column wheel vertical clutch chronograph. The column wheel is well tuned, it is very crisp, you feel it, you hear it. You also have a vertical clutch system, so there's no stagger or jump to the seconds hand when the watch starts up in chronograph mode. You can also leave the chronograph running because there's no additional wear or play with a vertical clutch system. So if you like to have center seconds, minutes, and hours, you can do that. Just leave the chronograph running, no risk to the watch. 50 meters water resistant. It's not necessarily a highly aquatic racing watch. We're, we're talking about racing cars and aircraft, not so much sailboats and powerboats. You can see this all around her and make it yours on the watch box. Omega Speedmaster Racing by Night.